Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. It is time to test my badass crossbow at the last Ivan had. To do it right, I asked my friends Chuck Murray and Charles Fultz at Zombie Go Boom what they want me to do with it. So, that's what they say. All right, Jorg, here's what we want you to do with the last Ivan head. First, we want you to ram the bayonet into Ivan's mouth and shoot a bolt into his forehead. Then we want you to pull that out and stick the spike into the top of Ivan's skull. Yeah, then take a couple of steps back and shoot one more bolt at that bleeding mass just to finish it off. Yeah, make it go boom. Okay, so again, this is not just any zombie head. It has a real skull inside that is as hard and as big as a real human skull. And there is also foam that simulates flesh and skin. So that's a pretty good test. But first we have to fill it with some kind of brain liquid. <laughs> it has a special hole in the dome for it. And as always, I'm celebrating the moment. And this time, we're using a Misha Estate 2002 Shiraz from South Africa. It's coming down from the Wellington Estate. And it actually has, it won the uh, silver medal Michelangelo International Wine Award in 2004. And it also has the gourmet seal of approval from Switzerland in 2004. Let's taste it first. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice. Okay, cheers Ivan. Mm -hmm. I smell black currant and a peppery note. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I think it could breeze a little bit more. Okay, so time for you to taste it my friend. Ivan is thirsty. So Ivan drank about a bottle and a half of the red wine. <laughs> Let's prepare the crossbow first. We attach the bayonet like this. Okay. Switch on the red dot side. And we filled in enough bolts so that all we have to do is cock back the string, press it against the chest, and then we can fire as many bolts as we want to. So again, the task is to ram the bayonet into the zombie's mouth, fire a bolt, pull it out, smash the spike into the dome of the zombie, pull it out, step back, cock it again, and fire a bolt into the zombie's brain. Let's do it. Okay, we begin by cocking back the string. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Done. First, we want you to ram the bayonet into Ivan's mouth and shoot a bolt into his forehead. Then we want you to pull that out and stick the spike into the top of Ivan's skull. Yeah. Then take a couple of steps back and shoot one more bolt at that bleeding mass. Okay, we definitely have a few kill shots. The bayonet uh, slash actually shifted the head back, I think. So I'm not sure if that was a kill shot, a kill stab, but it definitely entered deep into the mouth and it held back the zombie for sure. So the first shot was definitely a kill shot. It went back all the way into the brain cavity through the eye. And the bolt is reusable. It's a little bent, but as you see, with my bare hands, I can just make it straight again. And these here, I think this bolt is gone. Now this one, I think, can be reused. The dome step was a little hindered by all these bolts that poked out of the head. <laughs> so that was a problem. But in the end, I think it proved very efficient. 
<laughs> a while ago I devilized this meat cleaver with the, uh, the handle from the ram bone and this extra weight here. So I have to test it on it. <laughs> okay. Still plenty of boots in Ivan's head. I'm pretty happy with the performance of this thing. <laughs> I hope you are too. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thanks and bye-bye.